The new improved shot watch appears virtually identical to the original version. As before, on the shot watch face display, the top row arrows indicate a plus, neutral, or minus of measurements saved in your best shot folder. The second row identifies what each set of arrows is monitoring, speed, grip, and time, and the large numeric readout of each measurement. The icons on the bottom row are the curved arrow indicating ready to swing, the thumbs up symbol indicating your best shot, the file folder icon where best shot information is saved, and the handicap symbol which is your shot watch handicap. The start button appears on the front of the shot watch, and the mode and select buttons are on the right hand side. In response to users' requests, we have added a time of day function. This is a completely optional feature and can be skipped entirely by pressing the start button twice in succession until three dashes appear in the display. Should you wish to set the time, when you push the battery tray in, a field of three zeros appears. First, press the select button to set the hour. The numbers go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then A, B, and C. Since there are only three fields available, the hours 10, 11, and 12 are represented by the three letters A, B, and C. Next, to set the minutes, press the mode button. The minute settings go from 00, 0 to 59. Hold the mode button in until the correct time of day is displayed. Then press the start button twice. A zero will be displayed on the first start press and the correct time of day will be displayed and saved with the second start press. After you have set the time of day, press start a second time. Another zero will then appear on the display. This indicates the speed variable is activated and it is the default setting for swing. Press start again and notice the dot between the minutes and hours is flashing. This indicates the shot watch is running and keeping time. Before making a swing, make sure the shot watch is flush and tight to the inside of your wrist. Powering up the shot watch is accomplished by sliding the battery tray into place. A series of numbers will flash and then three zeros will appear. Press the start button again and a single zero appears. Press start once more and three dashes will be displayed indicating the shot watch is ready. You can always reset the shot watch by sliding the battery tray out and rebooting to clear the memory and start fresh. To activate the watch, press the start button. Three dashes will appear in the display. Swing your club and the shot watch first to compute and display the speed of your swing. To get the values of the other variables, press the select button. Grip and time will be displayed. The one surrounded by a rectangle will correspond to the number value displayed. Each time you press the select button, one of the three measurements, speed, grip, or time will appear. The last swing variable displayed will be the first number to appear on the next swing. This allows you to concentrate on just one measurement of your swing without needing to do anything more than press the start button. You can concentrate on one area of your swing, like speed, by starting with the speed readout on the display. If you do not press select again, speed will continue to be the first number to appear. This makes it possible to practice your speed exclusively. The same sequence will work for any of the three measurements. The speed reading displays a value of between 1 and 10, 10 being the fastest. A speed reading of 1 indicates the shot watch did not capture a reading, while displays of 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. indicate increasing swing velocity. The time or tempo reading displayed is real or actual elapsed time from takeaway to contact with the ball and is expressed in one hundredths, tenths, or in whole seconds. Two grip pressure readings will be displayed. The first is the average or mean value of the grip throughout the swing plane, ranging from zero to a maximum of 255. This will be displayed for four seconds and then a second, smaller number will appear. This is the variation in your grip pressure. A small variation number, say one in single digits, indicates a relatively constant grip pressure through the swing and very little wrist movement. Ideally, one would want to practice in order to achieve a small variation. After hitting the shot you want to save in memory, press the mode button until the thumbs up icon appears. Next, press the select button and a series of numbers and dashes will flash on the LCD indicating that your shot has been saved. Press the mode button again and the file folder icon will appear. 
Press the Select button and each measurement for speed, grip, and tempo time will read out, indicating they're saved in your file folder. You can change your best shot measurements as often as you like as you make additional swings. Different clubs will have different best shot readings. With your best shot saved, the arrows on the top row will display plus, minus, or neutral on your next swing. Repeat the exact swing again and the row will display all neutral dashes. On your next swing, if you repeat the same speed but a stronger grip pressure and a slower tempo, for instance, speed will be displayed as a dash or no change. Grip will show a plus or up arrow and tempo a down arrow or minus sign for time. For a one handicap golfer, the shot watch is unforgiving, so to achieve an all dash display, the swing numbers must be virtually the same as those in the file folder. For a higher handicap setting, you have an increasingly larger margin of error. To set the handicap, after the shot watch has been activated, typically by rebooting, that is sliding the battery case in, press the start button. The icons on the button row of the display will appear. Press the mode button until the handicap icon appears. Next, pressing the select button will allow you to choose a 1 highly skilled, 2 average skilled golfer, or 3 beginner. To test the grip pressure on the shot watch, press the mode button until only the R is displayed in the icon bar. Press the pressure plate on the back of the shot watch and with very little pressure or greater pressure, you'll see the grip numbers change accordingly. This will indicate the shot watch is reading grip pressure properly. To change the shot watch battery, using a golf tee, ballpoint pen or any pointed object, insert it in the hole between the mode and select buttons. This will release the battery tray on the opposite side of the shot watch. Remove the tray from the watch, change the battery, and then reinsert the tray until it is flush with the side. A 2032 coin cell battery will last approximately 5 to 7 hours of use. The shot watch has a sleep mode, and after 2 minutes of non-use, it shuts down. There are notches and grooves, so you cannot insert either the battery into the tray or the tray itself incorrectly. Don't force it. If you have to force it, you haven't aligned it properly. This will cause damage to the watch and nullify the warranty. The new shot watch gives you the opportunity to fine-tune your swing speed and eliminate some of the herky-jerky motion associated with your fastest swing. The more often you attempt an up-tempo swing, the smoother your swing will become. You can prove this to yourself. Without hitting a ball, swing as hard as you can with your driver. Most of us recreational golfers will lose our balance. Next, gradually work up to your fastest swing, increasing your swing velocity with each repetition. Notice how your balance improves. The shot watch easily calibrates your increasing velocity and helps you feel the smoothness of your swing as it records your swing speed. Radar or laser beam ground instruments record swing speed at the instant of contact with the ball. These devices do not tell you if you were swinging your fastest when you made contact with the ball. We have found speed will vary as a function of height of the arc. ShotWatch, therefore, captures a speed that is based purely on the dimensions of the individual swing plane. First, boot up the ShotWatch by engaging the battery. A series of numbers flash by coming to rest at speed reading zero. Next, push the start button. Three dashes will be displayed. Take a fairly relaxed swing with any club you choose. ShotWatch displays a reading of, say, five. Next, swing faster. Being careful to stay in your shoes, you get a reading of 8. Next, slow it way down. Your indicated swing speed is 3. Quite clearly, the shot watch is discriminating your own swing speed relative to your own swings of greater or lesser velocity. It is instructive to uncover the maximum speed you should swing without sacrificing accuracy.